Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can solve roots on the Texas Instruments TI-30XS MultiView Calculator. To do this we'll be using the second function key that looks like this located here, this green one. The x squared key with the second function of square root looks like this located here. The caret key with the second function of x root looks like this located here, and we'll use the toggle key that looks like this, two arrows going left and right, located down here. If we just want to square root a number, like say find the square root of 25, we can start by entering the square root on the screen with the second function, and then the x squared, there's our square root there, and then we enter in what's underneath, so that's 25, and press enter, and see we get Square root of 25 is equal to 5. But what if we want a root that isn't a square root, like say a cube root? Well, to do that, we use the x root key. That's this one here. We start by entering our base, which in this case is 3. So we go 3, second, then the caret, which is the x root key. You can see the 3 has moved into the root position there and we're ready to enter what's under the root line. We want to find the cube root of 1,000, so we enter 1,000 and press enter. And we see the cube root of 1,000 is equal to 10. Now you might encounter some cases where you don't get a clean answer. Like say we want to find the square root of 5. There's our square root, 5 we press enter and this calculator gives us square root of 5 as the square root of 5. Well if we want the decimal that doesn't really help us. That's where we can use the toggle key. That's this one here located here. So if we've got that square root of 5 on this side of the screen and we just press the toggle key we see it converts square root of 5 to the decimal which in this case is 2.236 etc. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody!